What is up guys, Boom Broth here, and today I'm playing some Call of Duty, and I finally got the MX Garand. I, I wanted this gun so bad the second it got announced, and I finally got it, and I actually almost have a gold. And this is just a highlight reel from a game I just played, because this is the best I've ever done using the gun. And I will say that my favorite setup for this gun is ELO sight with long barrel, extended mags, and high caliber, because if you... Alright, like a medium range, you hit them once in the head, normally they die unless you get just crap boxes. So that's no big deal. But I think this gun's way better than the Shiva. Much, much more consistent, fires way faster. The only downside is you have to fire the entire magazine before you can reload, which is why I like extended mags. Um, some people might dislike that, but it's actually really historically accurate because that's how the original M1 Garand in World War II worked. And I've it's my favorite, favorite World War II gun, and so I was so excited when they announced it. And right now, I'm really hoping I get the sword next, because got, I've gotten the brass knuckles, and I've gotten the MX Garand. Those are the only two guns I've earned from the boxes. I really can't say earned, because it's completely randomized, which is stupid, because my main complaint about this so far is... The amount of boxes I had to open in order to get anything. Like, I had been... I actually got two weapons this prestige. Because it was, like, it was, like, impossible, essentially. I, I had never gotten any guns, but I'm, like, what, fifth prestige? Almost sixth prestige, and I just now got guns out of the, uh, boxes. Which is... Trust me, I'm not complaining. It just, it just took really, really long. This gun is super fun. I love it. It's got good damage output. I destroy that guardian with my fist because I'm a badass like that. Um, <clears throat> the only downside is, is if you get rushed by more than one person, odds are you're gonna die just because your fire rate doesn't outgun SMG's close range unless you're tagging all headshots. But it only took me like 10 games to get all 100 headshots because I was getting about 12 to 15 headshots per game after I unlocked high caliber. It's really not that hard. So if you get it, I highly recommend trying to get high caliber and using it because if you can consistently hit them in the head, you're going to be getting headshots left and right. And it's just so fun and satisfying to hear that clang of you getting that headshot. But this this gun so far is my favorite assault rifle. This gun, and I almost have a KN gold actually as well. I am on my, on my way to, what's it, Dark Matter, I think it's called? Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm so close. And I almost have all gold specialists, too. I'm working on the uh, Trapper right now, whatever, Nomad. Oh, there's the uh, high-quality GI unit just sliding around the map. That's cool. Um, but I've gotten everything done except for the Battery, the Tempest, not the Tempest, the Glitch Kills, and the uh, Nomad Kills, and that's it. Then I'll have gold specialists, and it'll be super hype, and I'll be very happy, because then I can play whoever I want. And it would be great. But anyways, this game was very, very fun. I greatly enjoyed it. And it's long overdue. I'm just kind of sad that it isn't showing my awesome gun camo that I made for this. It looks sweet. It's got black stripes and green stripes, and it just looks awesome. And I'm pretty sure my game just crashed. Oh, no, that's the end of the highlight. And thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys.